Hello students, welcome to the class. It's our mathematics class. It's our math practice class actually. You have already learned the subtraction with borrowing. Today we will just revise it because in our practice book also there is this chapter subtraction with borrowing. In your primer book you have already learned the chapter but because that was a many times ago so I will just revise it. Okay. So let's see how can we subtract with borrowing. Let's assume, suppose I am writing here two numbers, okay? 53 and I have to subtract 8. One, one, this is one and another one I am writing here. 61 and here I have to subtract it 13. I have to subtract 13. Two math I have written here, right? First one is 53 subtract 53 subtraction is subtracted from by 8 and 61. We have to subtract this. We have to subtract 13 from 61. First one we have to subtract 8 from 53 and second one we have to subtract 13 from 61. Now how can we subtract? You already know how can we subtract. We have to draw the lines and then cross the lines. How many it said. But here you know, you know this, one, this one also you know. Here we have to borrow 110. We have to borrow 110 from the previous number and then we have to subtract. Because look here we cannot subtract 8 from 3. We cannot subtract. Can we subtract 8 from 3? See. 1, 2, 3. 3 lines. And now we have to erase 8 lines. Where we will get 8 lines? We have only 3 lines. So here we have to borrow 110 from the previous number. That means from 5 we have to borrow 110. So from 5 we will borrow 110 here. 110 we will borrow here and then we will subtract. Now just see if we borrow 110 from 5 then 5 will be 4 right because there was there was 5 tens before but now because I have borrowed 110 here so it will be 4. Here will be 4 tens so this will be 4 and this will be 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3, it will be 13. So now we have to draw 13 lines and subtract 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we will subtract 8 from 13. It is very easy now, right? So we have to cross 8 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These eights we have to cross or we can erase this line also. Now, how many lines are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here our answer will be 5. Okay. Now, see. Here was 4 because we already borrow 110. So, it is 4. Now, here is no number. That means, under 4, there is no number. So, there is no number. That means 0. There is no number. So, the 4 will be 4. If there was any number, then we have to subtract it. But because there is no number, the 4 will be 4. So, it will be 45. 53 subtract by 8, it will be 45. Now, see here. 61, we have to subtract 13 from 61. Now, we cannot subtract 3 from 1. Here, it is 1. We cannot subtract 3 from 1. So here also we have to borrow 110 and then 6 will be 5. The previous number will be 1 less that means 5 and then it will be 10 plus 1 11. This number will be 11 and now we have to subtract the 3. So we have to draw 11 lines right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now 
we have to subtract 3. 1, 2, 3. So, these 3 lines we will erase. Now, how many number lines are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, here it will be 8. Okay. Here it will be 8. And now, 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be 4. Right. So, this is how you will do the subtraction with the help of borrowing. You will do page number 1111 and 112. That means 111 and 112. These two pages you will do from your math practice book. Okay. Thank you for watching.